Alright, early morning. Fuck, I need a cocktail. Early morning is an expansive definition of early morning. Uh, my news for today is the early morning news that the White House will be sending uh, instructions, uh, probably on the back of a paper napkin from the president, to the uh, Pentagon on how to ban transgender people from the military. Um, to even take another step of accountability away from this, uh, President Trump is leaving all the accountability on General Mattis, which is uh, a nice, uh, nice responsibility dodge. I mean, that's a true uh, smart move there. Um, I've never done this before, but I think to respond to that uh, little extra bit of bigotry uh, and hate, um, I would read a quote. So I'm going to read a quote off of a teleprompter right now, aka iPad, which is in front of me. And that quote goes a little something like this. The men and women of the military operate as one team with one shared mission and one shared sense of purpose. They transcend every line of race, ethnicity, creed, and color to serve together and sacrifice together in an absolutely perfect cohesion. That is because all service members are brothers and sisters they're all part of the same family, and it's called the American family. They all take the same oath, they fight for the same flag, and they live according to the same law. They are bound together by common purpose, mutual trust, and selfless devotion to our nation and to each other. And I think that that is a really perfect quote to contradict the transgender band that President Trump is currently scrawling on that napkin and handing to Mattis because that is a quote from President Trump's speech on Monday night uh, that he gave in front of service members uh, in support of them. Uh, in support of them that were born in a way according to genders that we understand, not in genetic ways that we don't understand or geneticists understand, or in ways that they so choose to be. So, in honor of that sticky situation, let's try to delicately thread the needle of some metaphors. I thought about uh, making a Sazerac this morning and saying a Sazerac is just as good with rye whiskey as it is with Armagnac, and I thought well, that's a shitty way to compare uh, gender understandings to a cocktail. Um, instead, I was thinking that it might be good to, uh, to deal with a common request that bartenders get, or even one that you might make when you're in a bar which is a request to not have sugar in a cocktail. Uh, guests frequently say, um, I'll have a daiquiri but no sugar in it, which is lime juice and rum. Or they'll say, I'll have a mojito with no sugar in it. Slightly more reasonable, that would be lime juice, rum, and soda, mint maybe. Um, a little more reasonable because, you know, a Ricky is a cocktail very similar that has existed. But uh, for today, we're going to kind of explore that a little bit with a Caipirinha. Now, Caipirinha, if you don't know, and if you're an American, you might not know, but if you're in Brazil or Germany, you're like, yeah, Caipirinha, is lime juice, sugar, and cachaça. So just prepare this lime to go in for this Caipirinha. And the only other ingredients are cachaça. We're using Novo Fogo organic cachaça right now. Best available in America, maybe not the world. Uh, and... Uh, super fine sugar, caster sugar. And this is a sugar that bakers use because it dissolves really easily and I've been using it in this series because a lot of the drinks I've been using, I kind of want the texture. Now, if I just take the cachaça, we're gonna make this drink a little backwards here, and add that, and muddle the lime together, we've got cachaça and a muddled lime. That's a bit poor. If you wanna take this metaphor a little further, That'd be like leaving out the ice. Now, I'm not saying this is a bad drink. This is delicious cachaça and, you know, a nice fresh lime. I kind of like that, but that's a bit punishment for some people. So let's talk about making it better. We're just going to add one lime. I mean, one ice cube. Well, now you're already a little better. You're chilling that out a little bit. You can muddle that together and you're kind of making it better. But hey, let's make it the way that you're supposed to make it. Let's ignore the order from the guest. The customer's not always right. Let's add the sugar like we're supposed to add. Let's muddle the drink. 
like we're supposed to model it. It's getting a lot better. It's already starting to mix together the way it's supposed to. We're going to add the other ice cubes like we're supposed to add. And now we're actually making the drink the way we're supposed to make the drink instead of just doing what the guest slash customer slash president says. I'm going to give this drink a little shake. Smiling. Now it's a complete Kuiperinia. Really simple combination of three ingredients. Without any of those ingredients, you can say ice is a fourth. It wouldn't be a Kuiperinia and it wouldn't be very good. But because I think that transgender rights are people rights and I think that transgender people are people and I don't really care how different anybody wants to be doesn't really intimidate me in the slightest I'm just gonna add some more stuff to the mix because I don't mind diversity I'm gonna put some passion fruit syrup in there because that's great I'm gonna put a little Peychaud's bitters in there I'm gonna dry it out I'm gonna make it a little more herbal I'm also gonna make it pink I love pink drinks. Pink drinks taste better. It's just a fact. It's one of those things. I'm going to shake it again. I've added more stuff to it. And I've made an even better cocktail. But I can't open it. <laughs> mm. Peychaud's bitter. Let's add this fresh bouquet and the passion fruit is so good. It's all mixed up, got more stuff in there, it's tasting better. It's a bit of diversity and all the flavors support each other, just like all service members support each other. Fuck, I need a cocktail. Ignore orders that are stupid. I'll see you uh, oh, tomorrow. Bye. That was very good. Thank you.